Hey, how is it going everyone? This is Cray and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. Today we're gonna be playing with our third awakening lizard man. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It's the Drakkan Warrior Water one as well. Solvark. So this guy on paper looks really good because it's one of its kind where the skill tree does like a threat state on himself for three turns. We're also able to dish out AoE silence and glancing for two turns. So pretty big there. And then for the Dragon's Breath, this one is basically like just more damage output. If we got harmful effects on the opponent, then we can deal 30% more damage as well. If we do not have any harmful effects on the Solvark, means that we are able to absorb the attack bar. And there's a couple of units that I want to test out together with him. So we'll be running the Dark Siri Retash for now. Dark Siri providing the AoE slow strip. Retash will provide the defense buff and AoE armor break and we'll see what our third awakening Lizardman Solvark can do. <laughs> so we just picked our units and we're gonna be facing this guy who has a Kiki, Maximilian, all this kind of nonsense, the Bird Guild, Fermion, you know. So I'll just show you guys the ruins for my Dark Siri, Retash and the Solvark. We'll be able to dive right in. Alright, I can't wait for that one. Should be nice on paper if we can land our skills in terms of the accuracy check, you know. So this one, I am gonna try to one-shot the Kiki. Okay, very nice. Liu Mei still alive though. But of course they proc. Of course, what's new? Liu Mei will die here. I need to land the armor break onto the Byungcho though. So I'll just normal attack here. Oh, very nice. No violent proc on his end means it's bye bye for the Byungcho. <laughs> In no way he's sustaining this. Yeah, I love this lineup a lot. Okay, so this one, we are very tanky on our end. But there's so many debuffs that we need to cleanse though. I need a violent proc on the Vela. We did not get it. Pretty unfortunate. This Nora is controlling my whole team so badly, bro. Oh my god. Okay, thankfully, out of all the debuff on the thing end, we actually cleansed the heal block. <laughs> that is actually so important. So, our Velajo here should be able to move soon. Yeah, I think we are gonna go ahead in front of the Camilla. So, Sang Tree is finally up. The Nora does not have any skills, right? I think she already used it everything earlier. Mm, oh my god, she has it. Oh shit. On the bright side, the Maximilian is dead. And then we can go for the immunity again. Bro, can you stop stripping? <laughs> Just go for the normal attack, man. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to give the stack to the Nora, but she already has three... Might as well, so another round of strips. We can't seem to land armor break, man. Yo, Feng Yan, do your job, bro. Okay, we can go for the defense buff here. How much damage can we deal? Not good enough, man. On the bright side, Velajo able to kill it off. Alright, perfect, we can basically press auto from here. Uh, just normal attack all the way, I think, should be fine because... I don't see a way for this Camilla to win our Fingen at the end of the day. So I do not mind losing our Velajo and Alia from here on out. Anyways, we got skill 1 heal from the Alia. It doesn't really matter. Big crit and moving on to the third round. So this one, 5 stacks onto the Odin. Can we strip? Alright, at least we took the attack buff away from the Odin. Mm, our Hwadem can't do much here. We'll try to remove the first life, I guess. Yep, 12k damage without armor break. Very nice, big damage done. And we can just opt for the capture onto the Kakano. Right, so Kakano goes down. My Edna is built on additional damage for the artifacts, so even if we don't land the crits, the damage output is still gonna be pretty significant, right? So now, even if you land the Oblivion here, it doesn't really matter. I am really looking forward for the next match. Come on, don't waste my time, just go down. Thank you. This one, 
Can we strip? Oh, double stun. There we go. Armor break, please. Alright, perfect. Now, we go for the Dragon Strike. In terms of the damage output, it's not bad though. Wow. With defense buff, we actually hit pretty hard. Considering that my unit is not on crit rate or crit damage build. So I can see if I'm running it on a speed crit damage defense. Go a little bit more YOLO. The second skill will be able to dish out so much more. Yeah, we can see here if we don't have defense buff, we are only dealing around like close to 3k on the AoE attack. <laughs> so that's not that much. Yeah, Dragon's Breath to steal the attack bar. Yeah, we'll just try to absorb more attack bar. Normal attack also landing armor breaks as well. So this guy, I feel like maybe for Siege Guild battle, you have to go violent. Because at the end of the day, violent prevails in this kind of situations in Siege slash Guild battle fights. And then for RTA, maybe you can run it on Despair because double AoE skills. And at the end of the day, you don't really need Vio for that in RTA. Because second skill is basically just more damage, you know? So yeah, we can try to work things out in the future if we are planning to bring it into RTA. I'll try a Despair build. <laughs> for this one, I feel like we gotta remove the Zen though. Yeah, my Dominic is just like a pure tank with plus 2k attack because we can fully focus on stats when Leo is in the field. Additional damage based on attack for the artifacts. So we are almost able to bring down the Kinky. One hit, he was around half life. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this Dominic hits so hard. We just finalized our picks for this one, and for the first team, I'm gonna use the Nana Byeongcho Gianna since I don't have Van Cleef. <laughs> I can't copy that one. <laughs> for the second and third, we'll keep it as the Lizardman and the Naftis lineup. I'm just gonna show you guys the Mimir, Robo, and our Gene runes to deal against that Kuma, Brita, and the Audrey. Last but not least, I'll just show you guys the Dominic rune set earlier since I did not show it in the first match, alright? So let's hit right in and let's see how many wins we can get for this one. They don't have wheel onto two, but since Gianna doesn't care about that, we just go for the strip stun. Very nice. Armor break landed onto two. How much damage? Oh, we almost one-shotted that Van Cleef though. Alright, very nice. We are able to lap them as well. We'll work onto the Nana. Place a bomb. We remove the first life, so Van Cleef is going to die towards the bomb. Alright. Can we get a stun? No stun onto Byeongcho. Oh, I don't like this though. That armor break onto my Gianna. Yeah, we gotta remove the Nana ASAP. Yeah, I do not want him to get another stack. Complicate things, right? <laughs> so yeah, Nana goes down. We got three stacks. In a way, six lives against a Byeongcho. We got bomb for days as well. Ain't... We ain't losing, my friends. <laughs> uh, even if Gianna misses 10 bombs, it's fine. Alright, here we go. Slow debuff landed onto everybody. Armor break. We got it onto two. Oh, just one. I thought we armor broken the Parjania. Seems like we didn't. So silence, two turns, very nice. But we kind of need to cleanse all this debuff away though. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal up our Solvark. The damage output is so nice, man. Maybe in the future, I'll run it on crit damage. Yeah, the second skill, if crit damage build, is gonna hit insanely hard. <laughs> I can't wait for that, alright? So maybe we'll test it out in our siege or something. Now, we just need to lay out armor break and try to kill off something as quick as possible though. So I'll just try to go for the silence once again. Oh, perfect. Look at that, man. I like this so much. We cleanse that dot away. We go for the slow debuff. Nice stun onto the fire Dockerby Lord. 
the boom boom. Yeah, 4K, 4K, not too shabby. I like this a lot. But on the downside, the normal attack to land the armor break is like pretty low. <laughs> Haven't really seen my uh, soul bark landing the armor break on the normal attack. So Parjana first life down finally, man. Jesus Christ, this guy is so annoying. Yeah, maybe in the future, I want to rune up my Parjania as well. Haven't really tested him out after the recent buff that they gave him. So this one, he's getting so much stacks, but... Last hit, and we are able to finish it off. So I think this lineup is pretty consistent. Uh, as long as we know that we can outspeed the opponent, I think that lineup works very well. Alright, so we'll keep in mind about that. We one shot... Oh my god! Yo! This guy's so tanky, man! Wait, dismount the Savannah, please. Okay. <laughs> Endless death to finish off the Rahul, and a normal attack should do the trick. Wow, that was close. This one, they don't have any will, so we just go for the attack bar reduction. Try to put some dots onto the hits as well. And we are gonna control this Audrey. Yeah, I do not want to deal with the hug. And we can also provoke. Oh, we didn't get the Kumar though. Oh my god, thankfully we stunned that unit. <laughs> if not, he used the third skill and cleanse. Holy shit, I did not think of that. Okay, so maybe we should actually control the Kumar instead of the Audrey. Yeah, that could have been a better option. So just gonna go for the attack bar reduction once again. Now, we can CC him up, 2 turn stun, full attack bar depletion. This lineup, even if you do not have any armor break, look at the control, man. So good. I'm gonna keep this in mind as well. <laughs> yeah, I want to use this lineup more. Okay, on to the fifth round. So this one, armor break landed onto 2. The Sienna is gonna be pretty annoying though. Okay, late night ambush. The silence onto our Leo. Can you stop stunning my Leo, man? Oh my god. My Leo is dead. Oh boy. That Zen very tanky as well. Oh my god. Hey, stop stunning, man. So annoying. <laughs> I think we heal up our Dominic here. Our Leo is dead? Okay, buddy. Can you relax, man? Yo, with the Sienna keep on two turns, man. Nah, actually, just kidding. <laughs> I, I I feel like we, we lost this fair and square, you know? So, yeah. Oh, the stun rate. The stun rate too good. Yeah, we cannot revive yet. One more turn after this. And we are slow as fuck. <laughs> We got no speed on this unit. Yeah, GG, man. Oh, okay, buddy. Alright, alright. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll take this L. At the end of the day, 9 wins out of 10. Not too bad for a showcase of our Soul Vark. Honestly, I feel like he is the best normal elemental net 5 out of the other two elements, right? So, I'll try to play him more often. And hopefully... We can get more wins in our siege. We'll try to come up with certain combinations with him. I got a feeling I want to try out Nyx with him. Because with Nyx, we are able to prolong every duration plus one. So three turn silence, that's huge. <laughs> so that's gonna be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.